on base. Uh, just gonna do a little update video and you know talk about some random shit that I just feel like talking about. Um, first off, I just moved to Las Vegas and I recently <coughs> transferred schools. Obviously, since I moved, um, I don't know anyone. I didn't know anyone here, and uh, taking all honors classes. I mean, like trigonometry calculus. Trigonometry pre-cal, uh, mixed class since an honors class, and then I'm in physics uh, honors. So I got a lot on my plate, and I uh, didn't have a mic, and I did have the money to go buy a mic, but I mean, I didn't really want to waste my money on a mic, and I finally decided I felt like a douche for not putting any up in a while. But just so you know, I. Uh, pretty much quit playing Call of Duty. This is like my third game um, starting in. I do have better games on my hard drive, but I mean, I'm it's like 1040. I have to wake up at 5 every morning. Not like a lot of you don't. But I just don't feel like wasting all my time um, looking for that gameplay, the better gameplay. Like today, I'm pretty pissed off. Me and my brother were playing and I got a game that was 34-2 uh, and two, and then I got a game that was 24-1. And for some reason, my capture card did not save them. And it always seems to do that. Like, right now, I'm currently working on a montage, and I got uh, 360 collateral. And for some reason, anytime I do a good clip, my uh, video editor doesn't want to save it. So that the funny thing is that only happened, like, five times. And it's been on three out of five times. It's been on clips I cared about. Well, actually, two out of five. I, the that one of them wasn't that important but um <coughs> sorry for not making videos now another thing I want to talk about Kim Kardashian's butt am I the only one who thinks it's amazing alright that's the end of that discussion <coughs> so school sports is a subject I sort of just wanted to touch on there's a lot of controversy or argument going on in between all the different school sports like wrestling and basketball hate each other. Um, I'm not really sure if football hates anyone. I know basketball and softball and baseball usually hate each other. And this is in most cases. This is just in my old school. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it's like this where you guys are at. But uh, a lot of people... I, I, I personally do wrestling, and I don't really hate anyone. But I pers Actually, that's not true. I don't really like basketball players, but I don't. I don't hate them. Most of them just get on my nerves with their preppy like, plaid shorts and shit. But, um, yeah, that's really, a, I, I, I do wrestling. And I, I just sort of wanted your guys' opinions on uh, your favorite school sports. And a lot of people think wrestling's gay because guys in tight uh, spandex and shit. But, like, if anyone actually goes and watches a wrestling match, it is far from gay. And the best way I could describe it is you and another person are just trying to outdo each other completely and use all your strength and everything you can do to outdo this other person and you're not rubbing against them or putting your their balls in your face like a lot of people say you're using actual strategy using your strength you're using every part of your body every conditioning and um <laughs> I know a lot of other sports do this, and in my opinion, wrestling has the hardest conditioning, um, and that's not just my opinion, that is the truth. Uh, football is probably the second hardest, and but by a long shot, wrestling has the hardest. And then, uh, oh, that guy's a fucking asshole. Anyway, after that comes probably... I don't know, maybe basketball, I'm not really sure. Or actually, cross country is probably better. But soccer soccer does have some pretty good conditioning also. I'm not a soccer fan. But anyway, I just want your guys' opinions. If you think wrestling's gay, what's your favorite sport? Uh, you know, all that shit. Um, I don't really want to talk about the gameplay. I, I guess I could... I, I didn't really have a plan when I made this video. I just decided I'd talk about whatever. So, uh... Let's think. How will we talk about Black Ops? 
in Halo Reach. So, my friend recently, he's a major, um, hey, or he's a major Call of Duty player. He's he's in love with Modern Warfare 2. I personally hate it. Uh, one one thing before I get started, you see that spot I've went two three times. It is insanely hard to get killed there unless they're all expecting you. So it's always a good spot to go in the beginning of sub base in my opinion unless they out beat you to that area which is really hard for them to do so as long as you don't poke your head out through the window you're gonna be pretty safe and they're eventually in the, for the most part they're gonna wanna come around that corner and try and kill you just cause they're impatient so if you have the patience too just wait there and you're, you're usually gonna get a kill or two not always sometimes I've actually got 3-4 kills there and took out the whole team off the get go but um, back to my Call of Duty Halo talk. Um, so my friend actually recently started playing Halo Reach, and we always played Halo as kids. Um, you know, we played through Halo 1 like 8,000 times on Legendary. Halo 2, same thing. Um, Halo 3, not so much. We, we played, that was actually my first online game on Xbox Live. I didn't really understand how badass Xbox Live was until Halo 3. But, uh, we played that for like a year. And then we got introduced to Call of Duty World at War. Started playing Call of Duty World at War about three weeks before um, the release of Modern Warfare 2. Then once we played some Modern Warfare 2, we just both we, we fell in love with it. And then I fell out of love with it, but he was still strongly in love with it. Um, he didn't mind the noob tubes, commando, you know, all that shit. But I did, so I quit playing. And he has been in love with it since. Then he recently picked up Halo Reach. And... He was not expecting to like it more than Call of Duty, not even close. Um, I wasn't expecting him to like it more since I know what a fanboy he is. But uh, he ends up calling me. We talk for like a, 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 I don't know, 10 minutes. And then he just tells me uh, Halo Reach is amazing and it owns Call of Duty. If he was to give uh, Call of Duty and Halo both number rankings, uh, he would give Modern Warfare 2 a... 7.5 and he would give Halo Reach a 9.5 and I was I was pretty surprised since he's never been too much of a Halo fan we always we, we liked oh sorry about the, me popping up my chat uh, me and my friend are being noobs and I was just telling him where the fag was at who killed me but um we never been Call of Duty player or we never been really were too into Halo we just liked the first one and everything after that seemed a little tacky in my opinion yeah, don't get all raged, you Halo fanboys, but, um, so I wasn't expecting it, and I actually did not end up trying Halo Reach, and I was very surprised, I enjoyed it a lot, um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm on the bridge of purchasing or not, I have like 80 bucks right now, so, I don't know, if you guys give me my recommendation, some recommendations, if you'd like to see Halo Reach gameplay, I can go buy the game, but if you guys aren't interested in it, then there's pretty much no point in me buying the game. It's just a waste of money. I uh, probably only really play it until Black Ops came out. But Black Ops. Uh, wasn't that originally what I was gonna talk about? Sort of lost track, guys. Sorry, I'm just I'm just going. Um Shit, okay. Black Ops is what I was gonna talk about, I think anyway. So, there's a lot of controversy on Black Ops. If it's going to be a good game, it's going to be like Modern Warfare 2. Uh, is it going to be like Treyarch's Black Sheeps that they've produced in the past? Um, my honest opinion is I, I don't think it will be. Uh, from what I've seen in the game, it looks pretty awesome. Um, it looks a lot more hard. It doesn't look like I, it's going to be easy mode like Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it can take a lot more skill. There is a few balance issues I saw, like, I, I forget what the gun is, it's a three burst, and it's one burst from, like, the waist up, and I, what did I, what did I hear, they remove stopping power, I, I think, so that's th one burst from the waist up without stopping power, now that means if they would t were to add stopping power, that would be, um, like, you could shoot someone in the foot, that it's just going to be pretty overpowered. Most guns are like a five bullet kill. That gun's a one burst kill to anywhere in the body or waist up. So that's, uh, that might be need to be tweaked a little bit. I'm sure some of the other 
the grenades, all that will need to be tweaked up a little bit. Uh, it's nice to know they're not making some of the mistakes that one more for two made. I don't think they're going to have a one-man army. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm not sure if they'll have a scavenger. I, I think they do. Um, sorry, I haven't really been keeping up on Black Ops. I've been just chilling, listening to music all day, and, you know, hitting on chicks. <laughs> well, what you're supposed to do in high school, kids, don't spend all your time on video games. Go hit on some chicks. But, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to be a good role model. Go and do homework. And, um, you know, make sure to cook your teachers cookies and on their birthdays, give them a card. And uh, if you if you find a girl that you like, make sure to tell her um, you're saving yourself from marriage, and uh, you hope to be virgin for the rest of your life, and, and unless you get married, then you're cool. But yeah, uh, that's how you get girls. Uh, trust me, that's how I get all my girls. I just tell them. Hey, babe, I really want to save myself from marriage. But, you know, that's how I roll. Uh, <laughs> so there's my good role model spiel. But anyway, Black Ops looks pretty cool. I like the sniping. Uh, I like how you can buy your weapons now, and from what I've heard, you can buy your weapons instead of leveling up, you unlock them. And it seems like they got a lot of unique customization options. It's going to be really cool to see, um, like, a Modern Warfare 2, you're sort of limited and get sort of old. Uh, I could pretty much use any class and it's been used before. I can use any class and it's been used before. Oh, one thing, I, I switched my UMP silence because I realized that uh, enemy UAV was spotted and I had full blooded on this class. And I just don't like being seen by the UAV. And when they have a UAV, it really Fs them up if you have cold blooded on because they're looking for red dots and they won't be expecting you. And it seems when people uh, have UAV on, they play a lot more open. So. Uh, they really don't pay much attention to what's around the corner. Like this guy. I Normally a person would have came around. Uh, spotted the corner. There's another UAV, just saying. But, yeah guys, it looks pretty cool. There's a lot more customization options. And it's going to be fun to see how YouTube people and just people in general can, uh, I don't know mix up their classes. This was bad on my part. I should have stayed back there. But thanks for watching guys. The score is 13-5. I know it's not that great. But um I just I really don't want to look around and be tired and I don't think the gameplay is that important anyway. But thanks for watching. Uh comment, vote or not vote. Comment. Give a thumbs up if you want. If you don't want, don't go ahead and not and uh pretty much it. If you guys like my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See ya.